you know, one thing I like doing is waking up early in the morning and getting right to it. And if you're doing solar, you want to get stuff done before the sun comes up or do any maintenance or modifications at night. So it's about seven o'clock right now. And I started this at about six. Let me show you what I did. See that red cable sitting on the box right there? That is four aught welding cable. And I had some extra red cable. So I decided I'd swap this out and put better crimp ends on the end. Let me show you exactly what the heck I'm talking about here. This is an excellent, excellent end. This is 4 aught tinned marine grade. And this is what I had on here before. You can see the difference. It's very difficult to see, but this is much heavier, thicker than this. And I had scraped the ends off here to make stuff fit. And it just wasn't that great of a cable. It did the job, but, eh, so I replaced it. Let me show you what I did here. Move the light over here so you can see what's going on. So I bought another AMG Mega Fuse block or whatever holder deal right here and replace this cable here. Put some cable relief there into the positive bus down here. Now on each battery bank I got power goes in and it's in between right here. So you got battery here, battery here, power in between there. So, you know, power evenly distributed. Does it make a difference? I don't know. But I did it the same way on both of them, the negative and the positive. It seems to work just fine. System is running good. My issue that I have isn't necessarily with the batteries down here. The cooling is excellent with that small fan that I replaced instead of the crazy loud 200 CFM 120 millimeter 12 volt fan that I had in there before. This is just a, a quieter one, probably 50 or 60 CFM, and it does excellent. It was about 94 degrees here in the garage. This thing was sitting at 80. So, <laughs> well within specs. Looks like it's going to do the job. But the one issue that I'm having is that you've got 14.4 kilowatt hours in batteries and I've got about 49, about 5,000 watts of solar panels attached through the midnights to charge. And at the same time, I need to run loads. Now, right now I'm running that window unit essentially 24 seven. So I'm gonna have to power that and charge the batteries up the top, top them off, right? And I can do it barely. <laughs> uh, the one big issue is, you know, that tree I have in the backyard, that's actually shading my panel. So I'm going to need to trim that. But I may do some funky wiring out back this morning before the sun comes up to um, get a little bit more power coming down to this battery bank. Now, once cooling season is over with, it's not going to be a big deal because... I'm not going to be, my loads won't be that much. But I also got with Outback Power Technical Support and a couple parameters on this VFX 3524. And I uh, got that all straightened out. I'm actually using an older firmware on the Mate 3 here, but it seems to be working great. And the technician said, oh man, I really like that firmware. But he said I should update. I don't know. <laughs> It's talking with Optics RE just fine, so I'm going to leave things as they are for the moment. But I may still have to do a um, firmware upgrade or whatever update. But uh, yeah, the batteries are absolute beasts. I haven't had any issues at all. Um, it's just charging them up. Uh, they seem to get to about 27 volts. Right now I'm sitting at... 25.62 is what that says yeah and what I did is I changed the parameters not to take them down too far or farther I had it down to 24 yesterday morning that's way too far so I'm gonna start the day off at a little bit higher voltage and then it kicks onto inverter at about 26.4 so when I get the batteries up there then I'm gonna start inverting it so that's the way I have it set up 
but looking good running good it's been a long time you know how long i've been complaining about those trojan batteries and acid mist and all that man switching from flooded lead acid to uh lithium is his night and day difference just with power it just it's all there so there you have it just wanted to show you guys a few things that i did here to tweak mod and improve the system you know if there's anything that i can do that makes it safer or run better i'll do it and that's the recommendation i have for y'all too is it doesn't look right feel right taste right smell right it probably isn't right and don't do it and just keep an eye on your system all right guys have a good one thanks for watching we'll see you next time